A Southeast Asia's largest energy storage system is now formally powered up right here in Singapore in a boost to the country's solar power adoption efforts. The SEMCORP facility on Jurong Island is able to power 24,000 households per discharge. It can hold a maximum of 285 megawatt hours, exceeding the nation's energy storage target ahead of time. Michelle Teo tells us more in this report. Spanning two hectares, these 800 battery units were set up in just six months amid supply chain disruptions and volatility in energy prices. Now, each battery unit you see right behind me is connected to the main power grid. This helps it to charge up when the prices of electricity are low and then discharge it when energy is needed. Now, doing so also helps it to become a source of reserves for the main power grid to help free up power generation companies to generate electricity when demanded. Within each unit, a central control system monitors the accuracy, speed and stability of the battery output to match that of the main grid. It can do so in just milliseconds to keep up energy supply to consumers. Increasingly, uh, as we have more solar penetration into the grid, um, we see an uh, increase in intermittency. When the sun doesn't shine, when it rains, um, there's a drop-off in the amount of solar that's produced, and hence the battery is then able to uh, augment the grid and be able to address frequency issues that it may have, thus increasing the reliability and resilience of the grid. Since it started operations in December last year, more than 3,000 megawatt hours of energy have been sent to the grid. After achieving our solar target of 350 megawatt peak, or MWP, in 2020, we have since doubled our capacity to more than 700 megawatt peak of solar installed today. This includes maximizing solar deployment on conventional roof spaces as well as on water bodies, vacant land and vertical building facades. ESS energy storage systems, they play an important part in enhancing grid reliability in Singapore, especially as we scale up the solar deployment and as we import electricity from the region where in order to decarbonize our electricity mix. So for us we are considering and we will continue to assess how much or how much more ESS to deploy um, to support solar deployment and to enhance grid reliability. Singapore aims to power about 350,000 households a year using solar energy. This is expected to meet 3% of projected electricity demand.